Welcome to Old School Gamers Channel, where we try and keep everything retro. This time we're going way retro. But before we get into it, please don't forget to like and subscribe our videos so you can always be up to date on exactly what we're doing. What have I got myself into? I've been trying to make a Nintendo game. As good as Contra? Maybe not. But I gotta start somewhere. I don't know what I've got myself into though. Let's do this. When it comes to making a Nintendo game, I am excited. I wanted to do this. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. But there's a big learning curve. At first I thought, I'm gonna make the get out of the way, Yeti. I'm gonna make the next adventure of Link because let's just say what it is. This game was not the best version of Zelda. Anyway, <sighs> there's a lot to learn, and people are telling me that I gotta take it slow is a big elephant let's take it one bite at a time okay first thing is where do I start this is a huge project huge undertaking so what I do I hit up Uncle Google and asked him I said where do I start Uncle Google in this big endeavor of mine there are so many sites and so many forums of people just like you and me that are interested and have been wanting to make a game and have done it so learn from them. The site I would start with is 6502.org. They have so much information, including tutorials, references to other sites. One site they suggest was the Nintendo Age Forum, and specifically a link to the Nerdy Night series, which is pretty thorough. I'm currently going through topic three, which is 6502 assembly. Nerdy Nights covers 26 topics, so plenty to learn, guys. The next site I would read through is Nest Doug's ASM Basics here. It's at nestdug.com. I'll put the URL in the description. He walks you through the code, which you really need. He'll give you like one or two lines of example code. He'll even explain it. I mean, this really helps so that you can learn it really quick. Okay, and that's something that I need. I need examples and explanations. You know, I'm a little slow. <laughs> the next site has been a godsend. Put together by Nick Morgan, okay? It's called skilldrick.github.io and he breaks down the 6502 really well. And this is a game changer. This site is all about the gaming code. He starts with a small intro and works you through the registers, the flags, the opcodes, branching, I mean all of it. And he gives you the ability to actually practice on his site and watch it happen so you can actually see your code in action. It's fantastic. And I use it almost daily to practice what I'm learning on Nerdy Nights. I highly, highly recommend it. Let's go to the last site. So last site is a good one if you want a simple yet complete, you know, start to finish NES tutorial for making a game. Okay? I would recommend checking out Michael Martin's NES 101 tutorial. I'll also put a link to it in the description. I've read this thing several times and I think I'll be using it as a guide when I finally get ready to make my first game. This thing is awesome. So what are the drawbacks from this? The first thing that I noticed is I was overwhelmed. I gotta learn a new language and it's an old one at that. You know, assembly? Come on, right? <laughs> I had to learn a new architecture. The CPU was built in 75. I don't even know anybody built, built, <laughs> born in 75. Um, what else? I had to learn all the new lingo. What the heck is a CHR file and an opcode? I know now, but two weeks ago I didn't know. So my advice, there's a learning curve. Accept it, move forward, just keep chugging at it, guys. It is doable, okay? Keep pushing forward. You will learn it. And these sites that I've been giving you have more than enough information to get you to where you want to be. I'm excited the more I read them. I get excited every night. And when I don't get a chance to read them or I don't get a chance to practice, I get frustrated. I'm like, no, because it's starting to become more natural to see the code and read the code and actually understand what's going on on the screen. So be greatly encouraged, guys. It is a learning curve. I mean, it's big and it is a little overwhelming, but it's a big elephant. Eat it one small bite at a time. Um, that's what I've been doing. And every time I go to you know Skildrick's website and I'm practicing, or I'm reading another tutorial on Nerdy Nights, it is clicking, it is getting there. I'm starting to feel 
you know, I'm starting to get in the bath water or the pool water and you know it's not so cold anymore you know I'm starting to get used to it so uh, be encouraged guys it can be done it is definitely uh, you know fun it's uh, it does take a lot of dedication you know I would say just a couple minutes a night go through the sites go through the examples just keep reading it'll start to become more and more familiar okay anyway so the next video, I'll be giving you even more updates on where I'm at and uh, other pitfalls and joys and things I'm learning. And uh, as always, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time uh, if I'm not completely engulfed in the fact that Nintendo released Breath of the Wild, the sequel, at its E3 today. That still blew my mind.